every once in a while a horror movie comes along that changes everything that we know about the genre. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon is one of those movies. In this movie, at least in, in the planet Earth in which this movie takes place, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Chucky, you know, all these characters actually terrorized people in the real world. They weren't just movies, but they were actual, actual people. Leslie, who is played by Nathan Basil, looks up to these people and is a slasher in training. He also happens to invite a news team to cover his story, which is very, very interesting. The performances from the main cast are incredibly fun to watch, especially Nathan Basil. Because, you know, he plays this psychotic character. He, he's crazy. He's like a ticking time bomb. There are cameos from horror legends such as Kane Hodder, Zelda Rubenstein, and Robert England. Robert England plays the Dr. Loomis type of character in the movie, you know. What Dr. Loomis was to Halloween, Robert England's character is to Leslie Nielsen. So, um, he doesn't have much screen time, but his presence is felt because, you know, he's freaking Robert England. He played Freddy Krueger for, like, 20 years. Along with being a horror movie, it's also a documentary and a comedy. Yeah, bundle all that into one and see what you get. It's pretty amazing. I don't really want to give away any of the comedy behind it, but it's this very sick, dark humor that only people like myself would really, really, really appreciate. It seems like something Hitchcock would do. You know, he was known for his very dark, um, at times tasteless humor. But, um, it really works in this movie throughout. The first half is like a documentary. The second half is, you know, a slasher on a killing spree, basically. And, um, it's... It, they kind of makes the scares and the killings a bit less impactful due to the fact that... Well, actually, I shouldn't tell you why, but you, you just need to watch this to experience it and to know exactly what I'm talking about. Because of, because I can't fully explain it without spoiling the movie. Either way, this is definitely one of the best horror movies of the new millennium. For me, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Because of the great acting, great storyline and plot, fun characters to watch. You know, it's just all around fun movie. It's on Netflix, watch it on there for free, and then buy the DVD of it, because it's really, really good. And I really hope that um, we don't see something like this again, because, you know, it'll be directly copying Leslie Nielsen, because it's like, you know, when you do something once, people tend to copy their heroes. And I really hope that nobody finds this to be heroic in that sense, you know. Um, I really, really hope that nobody tries to make a movie, like a documentary horror movie, where a news team covers a slasher killer's story about, you know, becoming a slasher. And it's just, ugh. It was great this time around, but next time somebody does something like this, it's just going to be stupid and everyone's going to hate it. So yeah, thank you for watching Eric Bear Horror Movie Reviews. Don't forget to comment on the video, like the video, subscribe, and share it. Also, don't forget to check out EricGobearHorror.com. Everything's down there if you're interested. But anyway, I upload every Friday, so subscribe so you can come back for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.